Hereford manager Peter Beadle. Just how good was that Hereford performance today overall? Yeah, I thought it was really good. Uh, really pleased with the performance for the full 90 minutes, which was nice. Um, again, we asked questions at half time about being a bit more ruthless again because we've had lots of good possession in in the final third and and not you know not quite made the most of it. But but a, a good solid performance. Uh, kept the ball really well. We limited them to very few chances and. Like I said, nice to keep the clean sheet. Because the danger was that Redditch would come at you early doors, which they, they tried to, but it was just a stone wall in front of them for most of the time. Yeah, I think that, you know, we, we I thought we started really well, so that pushed them back a little bit. And sometimes when you give teams that little bit of an in incentive, they, they make the most of it. But we didn't give them that today. So we'd have liked to have been maybe, you know, another one or two up at half time. Wasn't the case. And 1 0. Again, like we said to them, you know, it only takes one. One mistake, one refereeing decision, one set piece, you know, and, and they're back in the game. So let's make sure we're focused and we're not, we're not, we're not going to do that. And we didn't. We looked, we looked solid again from set pieces defensively. We looked like we might score set pieces at the other end. So, like I said, a real, a real complete performance today. Uh, Reddish supporters think they should have been given a penalty early doors when Jimmy Oates appeared to handle it. How did you see that one from a corner? <coughs> Yeah, I remember it came across the goal. He's, he's dipped his shoulder in, but referee said it came off his shoulder. There's lots of bodies in there, so I can't see whether it was an arm or a shoulder. So maybe we have, maybe we have dodged a bullet. But like I said, but you know, if, if that had been the case, it would have been the case. But it wasn't, and we move on. Yeah, very industrious up front. I thought we we gave Lance Smith man of the match mm. uh, today for running because you picked him more or less as a front runner, didn't you today? Well, we picked him because he, he brings us legs and energy and obviously with the surface, John, you know, it was one we had to sort of, you know, do we take a gamble with John or do we use him on the bench and if we need him, bring him on. Um, as it was, we didn't need him. Lance, was, I thought, was excellent on Saturday and his willingness to run and, and we knew with the, the way we, we want to play, we want, you know, we've got to have that enthusiasm up front and like I said, he got his goal in the end but his, his work rate and his willingness was was you know, was uh, was unbeatable today. Was that the case with Ryan Green as well? He seemed to go out and have a sort of a, an individual fitness test, if, if I can put it that way, before the match. Yeah, Ryan wasn't. Again, you know, the body takes a little bit longer to recover as you get older. Obviously, Ryan's no spring chicken, um, but he, he made a decision. He was okay to play. Um, just really disappointed with his decision right at the end there in the last minute of the game. I was going to say, what what did you make of it? Because I, you know, are you I, criticising the referee here? No, or? I don't think so. I think that I think that there'll be lots of things you can you can point your finger at. I think that you know, with Ryan's experience and the game in the last minute and two 0 up and fifty yards from his goal, does he need to make the challenge? Um, we don't want to take that away from him, that edge. But does he really need to make that challenge there? Probably not. And and now it's going to cost us three games. So, so do you think it's a three, not a four I think, match? I think it, I don't think he's been sent off before this year, has he? This season? I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Looking at that. Has he? So yeah. well, it might it might be four then, if that's the case. But like I said, but whatever way, we're gonna we're gonna miss him. He's been he's been our most consistent defender again this season. And you know, it's probably a tackle that he didn't need to make. And Although saying that, I thought that he did get the ball first, but it did look a little bit reckless. But I said to the referee after the game that you, it's the last minute of the game. The game hasn't been played really in a in a in a, in a bad attitude or bad tempo. Um, you know, so surely a red a yellow card would have been enough to suffice. Bearing in mind he did ca he did get the ball first, but but he, the referee just said he was out of control and it was reckless. So. There's nothing we can do about it now. All we know is we, we're going to miss him for certainly three games as a minimum, um, which is a shame because, like I said, he's been our most consistent defender and, and he brings that reliability and assurance back there. So it's a, it's a tough one to swallow. And having said that, there is still competition for places anyway because mm. Dara O'Shea came on as a substitute today. Yeah, Dara came on. Obviously, you got Jack. We got Jack there as well. And, I, and, and you know, talking about Lance, I thought Jordan was immense again today. You know, every ball that went in the box, he seemed to get his head on it. You know, everything down the sides, he managed to get there first. I thought he was immense. So he's, he's in a real purple patch of form. So, and that's what we need to have. We need to have competition for places. Ideally, we'd like to have Ryan playing, but but that's not going to be the case now for a couple of weeks or for a few games. So we'll just have to get on with it without him. And well, we've done that before, and it's not you know. And, you know we've got lots of big players in this team. We've, you know, John sat on the bench. We didn't didn't need him today, thankfully. So that will give his knee a chance to rest. So like I said, so players come in and, and they do the job they're asked to do. Thanks very much. No